Gentlemen, let us put our hands together and we appreciate the efforts of the uh, team chairman. And I think the reason they are, they are so 
they are, they are so uh, effective is that they have the correct, the correct ideology. They, they, their ideology, as we used to say in the, in the, in the military, they are ideologically correct. They know where this country came from, they know where it is, and they know where we need to go. That's why they're such a positive, positive force, and we must all support, support them. We need more of this in this country, and less of the other. More of this and less of the other. And now that uh, President Museveni has given me a chance, I, as my fellow, uh, fellow commanders were saying, I am, I am somebody who's very passionate. I was very passionate about the army. You all saw me. I used to call them my soldiers. People would say, why are you calling them your soldiers? They're not, no, it's because I love them. I love them. If a commander says, the nation's soldiers, that means <laughs> you're not taking responsibility for them. A commander is like a father. Say, you say my children. You say the children of the of, of, of the home. How, how do you call your own children? My, my children. So um, that that passion, I intend to transfer into dealing with the youth now in this country. If if if. Uh, if they give me that opportunity, I'll be very happy to, to work. And I think we can make a very positive change. Now, the, the, I just wanted to give you an, 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 an analogy, an example, okay, of uh, the army. In the army, we have different units, different units, different kind, with different training, with different backgrounds. Uh, in the NRA, when they would when they would be a special mission, they would call mobile brigade. Mobile brigade had certain battalions. Brigade is the one that captured Kampala. Now, for us in UPDF, if there's some work which needs some special action or attention, we know the units to, to call. So, I think now we're going to start grading this MK Army. <laughs> We're going to start greeting this MK Army by your achievements yeah. and capabilities. <laughs> so right now, I would say Team Chairman are the commandos. Uh, once again, thanking the President and Commander-in-Chief for promoting myself and uh, uh, Lieutenant General Andy Mahanga. To, uh, to our new ranks and uh, to the new position for, for General Mahanga. General Mahanga is a, is, a, is, is a great, great soldier. He's a great soldier. And I'm glad, I'm glad that the uh, land forces is going to be led by him. Uh, I've had a long history with him. I trust him completely. I trust his uh, capabilities. He has transformed the situation in North Kivu. You people don't know much of your own continent. There's a place called North Kivu in, in, in DRC, where ADF was, but under his leadership in Operation Shuja, he has transformed the situation there. A very energetic man. He's always running at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Uh, 
so very quiet lady, but I can assure you, <laughs> when we get home and the door closes, <laughs> then... <laughs> Then she really becomes a five-star five general, and, I, and I, I, have to, I have to be very, 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 very respectful. So, gentlemen, you have kept my wife up long enough. I, I, I urge you to various places. We pray, Father, that we always meet for a good cause like this one many more times. We give you the glory for the life that you've given to us and the life that you are continuing to give to us. We pray for the first family, Mzei, our, our Mzei, the one that we celebrate, the one that led the struggle to cause this peace, and all the people that worked with him. We praise them, and we pray for them to live, and they see another generation taking on. And we pray, Father, that it will be very peaceful. It will cause no harm to anybody.